wanting to play around with the idea of using a bigger camera to take photos in 2021? Well then I encourage you to go back about 15 years and take a look at this guy, the Nikon D70. The Nikon D70 came out in 2006, uh, sporting a six megapixel sensor and it can shoot up to three frames per second. Um, when it first dropped, I think it was around the thousand dollar price range, give or take. Um, but you can find one of these bad boys used, obviously, for about 40 bucks today. So I was actually given this specific one uh, by a friend uh, whose whole point was to prove that this can compete with today's cameras. I don't want to say I completely just didn't believe him, um, but I didn't think it was going to, you know, come close as far as the mirrorless cameras go nowadays. Um, that being said, I was proven wrong. <laughs> I was proven wrong, and uh, this little guy has been a blast to use. I've done a few test shots with this thing, but I haven't done anything extremely extensive yet. So today we are going to do just that. We're going to take it out and put it head to head with my a7 III and see just how a 15 year old camera can compare to a newer camera. By no means is this a full review of the Nikon D70. This whole video is simply just to see the photo quality it can produce. Uh, might be a fun video to do in the future, uh, a, full a full review on this guy, but for now, uh, let's just stick to testing its photo quality. But anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get on the field and let's take some photos. frame i have no idea honestly i didn't actually plan this i've been using this for a little over an hour now and i gotta say it's a lot of fun <laughs> just uh i like how lightweight it is compared to the rig that i have now um the a7 III with the battery grip of course i take the battery grip off but i leave it on there um but that with the lenses i use it gets pretty heavy this is very very lightweight and it feels indestructible. I know that doesn't make sense. Uh, you'd think the one that feels heavier feels a little bit more sturdy. Now, this thing, I, I feel like I could drop it into a pond and it would, it would be okay. It's been a lot of fun. It's not the fastest thing in the world, obviously, um, but uh, the, the sound of the, the autofocus uh, and then also ah, the shutter, the shutter, I think is the biggest thing that's uh, that's been the most enjoyable for me is just the sound of that, that nostalgic just clack. Mm. Loved every single time. Love it.
CF cards. How I don't miss using them. So, unfortunately, this is the only CF card that I have. Um, and it has been acting up. I completely forgot about that. To where most of the photos that I get off this guy end up having some really bad, like, I don't know what you call it. They're all, like, striped with colors and other things. So, it, they just, obviously, they're not usable. So, I did get a handful of photos to use in this video. Not as much as I'd like to use. But, uh, we at least got that comparison. For a 15-year-old camera to produce photos like it did, though... That's insane. It does a really good job. I was thoroughly impressed with um, the comparison, especially looking at, at the photos side by side. Um, wow, this, I mean, this does a fantastic job. I actually encourage you guys, if you are wanting to get into the whole DSLR, you know, bigger camera world, go used like this. Go used, you know, multiple years back. You can use sites like mpb.com and get old cameras like this for, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. Um, and you can just kind of get familiarized with bigger cameras like this and learn the basics and then you can step up to, you know, newer cameras uh, in today's world. You know, you can step up to a mirrorless with, you know, better video quality, whatever. Um, but if you're just wanting to learn, definitely, definitely encourage going, you know, down a road like this. Obviously do the research for the lens on which one will work with the body that you're looking at. Um, this is a old 50 millimeter 1.8 that works with the D70. Um, give or take is around $150 or so. So this whole kit's like, you know, less than 150 bucks, um, which if, for a whole camera setup like that, that's, that's great. But that is the video for today, guys. Like I said, it's not an official review on the D70. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but um, it was still fun to shoot nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a like down below. It helps me out a lot. Also, leave video ideas down in the comments or just what you thought of the video. You can say it sucked. You can say you liked it. Whatever. I'm open to everything. Um, but if you have any video ideas, leave those down in the comments um, because I want to bring kind of that interactive aspect to the channel. Uh, so if you guys, you know, recommended a video idea and I shoot that video, I can shout you out in that video too. Um, it would just be, you know, it, it would be fun. So uh, leave your ideas down in the comments. I love to read them. We are at 90 subscribers, which means we are 10 away from doing the giveaway for the Immortan Stabilizer. I don't care if you have a uh, video camera or not, you know, you can always just win it and sell it. It gets some extra cash. Um, but uh, if you want to win that Immortan Stabilizer, uh, I'm going to be giving away at 100 subscribers, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. That helps me out the most. Um, hopefully, once we get past 100, we'll have a... Uh, a I got a few ideas for some more giveaways in the future, so um, if you want more opportunities to win better things, uh, be sure to subscribe and to tell your friends to subscribe so we can hit those uh, subscriber goals. But that is it for this week's video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. As always, I will see you in next week's video. Peace. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I need to wrap this up. I probably got an outro in there somewhere. Huh. Uh. Don't do that motion. Wow. I think we got it. Thank God. Ugh.